All right, let's get right into it. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on a piece of research from Apple that's been flying under the radar, but is honestly pretty revolutionary. It's called Clara, and it's a completely new way of thinking about AI that could give your phone a practically infinite memory. We're talking about a fundamental shift in how AI works right there in the palm of your hand. But first, let me ask you something. You've got this little supercomputer in your pocket, right? So why can't you just ask it to, you know, pull up every document related to Project Phoenix and give me a summary of the key decisions? The hardware is more than powerful enough, but the AI, well, it just chokes. It gets totally overwhelmed by that much personal context. And that brings us to the real heart of the problem. It's something called the RAG paradox. Now, RAG, that's Retrieval Augmented Generation, is how most AIs get outside information. But here's the crazy part. The more raw data you throw at it to find an answer, the worse it can actually get. It's like the important facts get buried in the middle of a giant pile of junk. It's a massive signal-to-noise problem, and it's been a huge roadblock for powerful AI on our devices. So here's how we're going to break it all down. We'll start with this big context paradox and look at the old retrieve-and-read method. Then we'll see how Apple's Clara completely flips the script by compressing true meaning. After that, we'll look at the proof, the actual performance numbers, and talk about what this means for the on-device AI revolution. And finally, we'll get real about the future, the risks, and what comes next. Okay, first up, let's talk about the old way of doing things. This is the retrieve-then-read approach. And honestly, it's the clunky, inefficient process that CLRA is built to destroy. So the old process looks like this. You ask a question. The system then does what's basically a glorified keyword search, grabbing big chunks of raw text from your notes, your emails, whatever, that kind of look relevant. Then it just crams all of that messy, unfiltered text into the AI's limited brain and basically just says, here you go. Good luck finding the answer in there. And this analogy just hits the nail on the head. It is exactly like a researcher who, instead of taking smart, concise notes, just photocopies entire chapters from a dozen different books, many of them totally irrelevant, and then tries to write a brilliant paper by sifting through that giant, messy stack of paper. It's slow, it's inefficient, and half the time it just leads to more confusion. So how do you fix that disaster of a process? Well, this is where Clara comes in. It's Apple's incredibly elegant solution. The name stands for Continuous Latent Reasoning. And it doesn't just tweak the old system. It throws it out and replaces it with something way, way smarter. The absolute core innovation here is a concept called memory tokens. You see, instead of grabbing those messy photocopies of raw text, Clara retrieves these tiny, super compressed representations of the pure, distilled meaning of that information. It's a game changer. It's not fetching words anymore. It's fetching the actual ideas behind them. And here's the side-by-side, -side, plain and simple. Classic RAG, it's retrieving those raw, noisy photocopies. Clara, on the other hand, is retrieving clean, compressed summaries, the smart notes. And that shift from messy, lengthy text to pure, concentrated meaning is what makes this whole thing unbelievably efficient. Now, of course, this doesn't just happen by magic. Clara has to go through this really clever three-stage training process. First, it learns how to be a semantic zipper. That's a great term for it. Compressing huge documents into these tiny memory tokens without losing the important stuff. Then, it learns how to actually understand commands using these new summaries. And finally, the really cool part, it learns how to retrieve the exact right memory token needed for any question, and it's a process that it's constantly refining. Okay, so the theory is cool, but does it actually work in practice? Well, this is where the research results get kind of shocking. Let's take a look at the actual data. This is, wow, just look at this. On a really complex reasoning test, the standard method, reading the full text, scores a 38. But Clara, using data that's been compressed 16 times, I mean, it's seeing just a tiny fraction of the original information, it actually performs better. That's right, better. By getting rid of all the noise, it helps the AI focus. It's the ultimate proof that sometimes less really is more. And it gets even more wild. The researchers really pushed the limits here and cranked the compression all the way up to 128 times. That is like taking a full page of text and squishing it down into the equivalent of just a few words worth of data. And the absolutely insane part? It barely lost any of its reasoning ability. And you can see here just how incredibly stable the performance is. From 4x compression all the way to a mind-boggling 128x, the F-score, which is a measure of its accuracy, 
only drops by like two points. The big takeaway here is that this is not some lucky fluke. The model stays incredibly sharp even when the information is radically, radically compressed. So all this amazing tech, what does it actually mean for you, for the phone that's in your pocket right now? Well, this is where it all clicks into place with Apple's grand strategy. Clara is basically the blueprint for achieving what you could call infinite context on finite hardware. Think about it. The big cloud AIs, they compete by just throwing more and more servers at the problem. Apple can't really do that without breaking its number one promise, privacy. Clara is their way to get that same incredible power, but keep it all running locally, right on your device. And this unlocks three massive benefits for us. First, you get true on-device AI. That means your personal data, your emails, your notes, your photos. It stays on your device, period. Second, because it's built to run on Apple Silicon's unique memory architecture, retrieving this information is practically instantaneous. And third, it unlocks powerful new features we've only ever dreamed about, like having a Siri that actually understands the entire context of your digital life. But, you know, like with any powerful new tech, Clara isn't some magic wand. It's not perfect. It comes with its own unique set of challenges and, yeah, some risks we need to talk about. Okay, first, there's what's called the interpretability black hole. With the old RAG system, you could at least point to the exact piece of text that led to a weird answer. With Clara, the answer comes from this dense mathematical vector, which is completely meaningless to a human. There's also the risk of frozen hallucinations. If there's a mistake in the original data, it can get permanently baked into that compressed memory. And finally, you can't just flip a switch and turn this on. To use Clara, every system has to reprocess and re-index all of its data from the ground up. But if you want to sum up the massive shift that's happening here, this quote from the analysis just says it all perfectly. In the shared latent space of Clara, retrieval is no longer just search. It is the first step of thought. This changes the whole process from a dumb file lookup into an active part of the AI's reasoning itself. Which kind of leaves us with this one final fascinating thought. Maybe the next great leap forward in AI isn't about building bigger models that can read and process more and more terabytes of information. Maybe it's about building smarter models that have finally mastered the art of forgetting, of elegantly and efficiently ignoring all the noise to find that one perfect signal.